Welcome to KFS Stores. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Discover World Furniture full-size captain bed. This bed's going to have the three-drawer unit and the fold-out trundle bed. When you receive your full-size captain's beds from Discover World Furniture, it's going to come in two boxes. One box is going to have your, book, your bookcase bed rails in it, and the other one's going to have bookcase, footboard, headboard, slats, and the hardware. Depending on your underbed configuration, it's going to come in one or two boxes. This one that we're going to assemble today is a three-drawer unit and a trundle as well. So right, to start, we're going to start off with the biggest box, which is going to have your headboard and footboard, your hardware and your slat kit in it. We're just going to find this little tab here and start opening up the box. Be careful not to use any knives. You don't want to scratch any of your new furniture. So if you can pop it open, you can start finding the hardware and you can slide all your pieces out. So I'm just going to get everything taken out of their boxes and then we'll get to continue the wait. So now we've unpacked the boxes and we have our mattress support system, our bed rails, our headboard set up, and our footboard all ready to go. In that first box, you'll find the assembly instructions and that hardware kit we were talking about. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go right on to step number one, and we're going to start assembling. We're first going to take letter E parts and we're going to assemble them into parts one and three. So they're just these little peg holes, we're just going to fill them in here. And then we're going to take parts number four, and we're going to put letter number F on the end of the bed rails here as well. And last, we're going to take part number D, or letter D, and we're going to use letter C screws to assemble it. When you look on here, there's going to be four lines or marks for the drill holes, you can simply just line those up and we're just going to screw those in. Okay, we're now ready to move on to step number two. So right now we're going to take our front bed rail here and we're going to assemble it to parts two and three. So all we're going to do is with the pegs that we already inserted, we're going to slide them right into the side here. So we're going to slide it in so it overhangs in the front. Slide it in on the other end. And we're going to use part B to screw in to the legs for extra support here. Now I'm going to screw letter B into the support. So now we're nice and sturdy. Now we're going to move on to step number three. We're going to look on the back of the headboard like we did before. We're going to assemble part D right on these holes just like we did for the headboard. So we're going to move on to step number four. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach the side rails to the headboard and footboard. In order to do that, we're going to use parts A and I. And this is where the metal to metal connection points are located. If you look inside of the bed rail, there actually is this extra metal bracket here to make it even more secure. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slide those pegs that we had already inserted. I'm going to slide the next one to me. So you know, we have it all in. I'm going to go over and I'm just going to insert part number, part letter A. So now we've attached the headboard to the side rails, now we're going to do the exact same thing to the footboard. We already got this one started, now we're just going to attach the one here. So you just take A, slide it through the pin hole and back, and you can take I, and you can hand tighten these for a while until you need the Allen key, it'll be a little bit faster for you. Just make sure you don't over tighten it, you don't want to crack anything. So for step number five, we're going to attach the center support beam. So we're just going to put this into the brackets on both ends. We're going to use bolts J and K to assemble. So 
for step number six, we're going to take the bookcase headboard and attach it to the bed. So we already have our pegs here. We're just going to pick up the headboard. We're going to slide it right over the pegs. And at number seven, we're going to attach the mending plate to the back here. So we're just going to line it up. And we'll do the same with the other side. So for step number eight, our final step in assembling the bed, we're going to attach our slack kit. So our slack kit is all already laid out here. We're just going to line up with the end of the support rail. We're just going to use the longer screws and go right through the pre-drilled holes and attach along the way. We're just going to insert the pegs into the pre-drilled holes here for our shelves. same for the other side. For step number nine, we're going to attach the three drawer unit that came with this bed. This is already going to be fully assembled for you. All you need to do is you're going to raise it up and you're going to put the brackets on those supports that are underneath. Slide them right in and just line up the drawer face so it's flush with the bed rail. You can pull out one of these drawers so you can reach the attachment screw. And you can screw right into the bed rail on the side here. We're going to assemble the trundle bed now. So I just laid out the four pieces here. We're going to use part A. And we're just going to insert it into the plug hole like we did before. Then we're going to use B and C to attach. And we'll tighten up with the Allen key. slack kit just like we did before with the full size bed, except this one comes in two little sections. So you can lie it across the supports, make sure the pre-drilled screw holes are facing upright. Spread them out evenly. And then we can use our screws here to attach. Inserted the slack kit, we're all ready to go. All we have to do is slide it underneath the bed. And you're all done. Thanks for shopping at KFS Stores.